Bernard Carey. And before I introduce our band, I want to say a couple words about the Art Center and what the Art Center has meant for me and what it has done for me personally. I grew up in Schenectady. I went to Horseman. Okay, I went to Washington Irving. Yeah, I, 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 I went to Steinitz. Graduated from Pleasant, Mount Pleasant. And my son and I are the first African American legacy alumni who graduated from Union College. Okay. And the Art Center has been around since I was a young lad. And three things that set my foundation right was my mother, who just recently passed, yeah, she taught soul. me the beauty of unconditional love, how to be a citizen, and how to respect people. That's what my mom did. And she taught me everything right. Sometimes I didn't follow it, but I knew when I was doing something wrong, trust me. Second pillar that helped me out with my foundation was sports. Sports meant a lot. It allowed me to use all my aggression and put it to a positive way. And the third pillar of my success growing up was the art center. Okay? Guys, ladies, when you leave school and you're finished with sports and there's nothing to do, how many kids that we know have walked around and their dreams have just died? I just want to share this one point with you real quick. And what happens to a dream deferred? What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sword and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crushed and sugar over like a soupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load or maybe it explodes. I was one of those kids that could have exploded. I could have went in a different direction, but the art center was there for me. It guided me, it helped me to develop the artist that I am today. And um, which brought me here at this moment. So my mother passed away recently. And as I'm paying respects, George Boone and me met for lunch. George Boone said, Bernard, I'm tired of working independently. And my record label, I own a record label, my record label was moving in a different direction where we wanted to bring classic music and the blues to a whole new audience. And I went to my board, we talked over, and so the George Boone Blues Band now is an artist on our record label called 5050 Music Group. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you one of the world's top 10 blues guitarists that exists. His name is George Boone, yeah. and he grew up in this community. Take it.
Thank you.